top today. I'm getting ready to do some lettering and um, like a logo on this bus here, the Combi. I'm gonna give you a little walk around the shop. You can kind of see what's going on. Here is the 52 split. Another client bus. And there's a lot more going on over here, but it's really noisy and dusty. I was working on getting a bus ready for uh, for paint. Bob on Instagram, you've already seen this, but he has 28 of these W deck lids here in his collection. And in case you don't have Instagram or don't follow him, I'll give you guys a little look around. There's some of those there. I love this bus with the original lettering. As far as I'm aware, it's original. It's awesome. And that one, the one with the rat fink I painted for him a while back. Don't tell Bob. I wanna see how long it takes him to notice this. He's got this door here in the shop with tons of stickers on it. That's what I need for my stickers. Huge door. It's missing mine. So full, it's hard to. Ooh, I just found a spot. You'd know that, notice that pretty quickly, I'm sure. So, this is what I'll be working on today this dash here. So, look on the inside. cool story of what I'm going to be painting and lettering on this dash. The owner of the bus, father, served in the 1st Battalion 9th Marine, I think, uh, if I'm saying that correctly. He did pass away about seven years ago. So I'm going to be lettering the, the logo from the 1st Battalion 9th Marines, the Walking Dead is what they called it, and then lettering the saying, um, on the road again, because whenever he and his father, I guess they would take road trips pretty often, and whenever that would happen, his father would always say, oh, we're on the road again. That's part of what I really love about doing what I do, is getting to be a part of these really special projects and getting to put something on, on somebody's, first of all, it's their baby to begin with, it's their car, and then be able to put something on there that has so much meaning. So every time he drives this bus, he's gonna get in and you're gonna look at that dash and he's gonna remember his father. I just think that's really cool. So and it's, it's an honor, it truly is, to be able to be trusted to do something like that with their vehicle that's worth so much to them. You know, not I'm not talking monetarily, but it's um, valuable for sentimental reasons typically. And then be able to also add something extra to it is really cool and it's really a privilege. So I finished up painting what I can for today in the combi and I have to wait for paint to dry. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to give you a walk around on the new 52 split that we picked up um, when we were down in Florida. So it's a 52 split dash crotch cooler. This was shipped here from Austria way back when. Whoever um, had it, not before us, but a few owners back at least, um, made this wood paneling like you see a little bit around the speedometer and then there were some other parts that um, went over both glove boxes. There's a little bit left there, and then they also made that um, grab handle, grab bar. You can see over here in the pan, There's that side is pretty rough. This side not so much, there's only like one small pinhole that we found. 
Um, the seats are not original to the bug. The red looks nice with the color though. And the headliner had already been taken out at some point, I'm not sure when. Also at some point, one of the owners wrote, see if you can see it, the miles per hour. Yeah, you can see it there. The doors are in awesome shape though. Like they're not all rotted out the bottom like you usually see. I'm focusing, there we go. So you can see this side of the pan is, actually looks pretty good. Oh, gotta check this out. The guy that had it before us wired up this little switch. Turn that on. Flip that. And we have working semaphores. Oops. It's kind of hard to see it with the bright light today. There we go. They're not original, obviously, they're repops, but still pretty neat. Turn it back off. So it had seven layers of paint on it that the guy that had it before us stripped down. I can't even imagine undertaking that job. So this is the original paint, except for the front fenders. Those have been replaced. engine. It doesn't run right now. It'll like try to start turnover, but the gas tank has a ton of garbage in it, so we're not running it. came from Austria, and it still has the dealership badge on the vent here. And apparently it's, this dealership is still in operation today. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Alright, so I finally got this guy finished up here. A lot of little detail in there. Sorry I didn't get a whole lot of recording as I was finishing the details. Uh, it was a bit crazy and I was even not here till midnight one evening trying to wrap some things up. So not the best light to record in. But we got it done. Hopefully he likes it. Just for a little size comparison for any of that may not be familiar with the uh, dash of a bus. Kind of give you an idea of how small all this is here. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time.